Well, you have a few opportunities to watch Arizona Highways and see more stories just like that one. It airs Sundays at 9.30, 4.30, and 11 p.m. right here on ABC 15. Well, you know, all these cool new products that you see at the grocery store every once in a while, and you pick it up and you go, oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing. I've never heard of fig balsamic vinegar. Well, a lot of them come from one place, and that is the Fancy Food Show. It takes place twice a year, and Susie Tim is lucky enough to get to go. Um, you are with Girl Meets Fork. <laughs> Not to be confused yes. with what I like to call you, which is Girl with Fork. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> right. You know, we have just been like ooing and aahing over all yes. of these things, and we have to kind of start there, can we? We can. This is called Schnecken. It's by Queen City Cookies out of Cincinnati, Ohio. It was probably one of my most favorite products at the show. It's sort of like a loaf of buttery bliss and love all together. <laughs> and I, I sell think, it more. I, I mean, think we didn't should do, uh, do it, didn't do it justice. Yeah, you enough. told me 10 ounces of butter. 10 ounces of butter to make one loaf, which, I mean, really, how can you go wrong with that? Um, so we, oh I was on the trend spotting panel for the NASFT, which was quite an honor, and we picked a whole bunch of really cool products. So I'll kind of run through while you're having a moment, I, maybe. I, I, I might need too. <laughs> Well, oh we, my gosh, that is so rich and delicious. So rich, speaking of rich and delicious, Southern Foods, big hit. Um, Callie's uh, Charleston Biscuit Company out of Charleston, South Carolina. She has cheddar chive biscuits and pimento cheese bread. I must tell you, the pimento cheese bread is, I dream about it. It's amazing. <laughs> um, another great product, Roger's banana pudding sauce. Interesting product. You can, uh, it's basically banana pudding, but you what can do you use do with it. it? You could top it on ice cream, you could put it in bread pudding, or just, or just eat it by itself. Okay. And then another trend, small batch mixers, so things you put in cocktails that are interesting. We have a cherry balsamic sipping vinegar, oh, okay. which, so you essentially use it in with club soda, you can make an alcoholic drink with it. Um, another company which I really like, Morris Kitchen, um, makes some preserved lemon and ginger syrup that you could use in cocktails. Mm -hmm. um, also, rose... Rose, uh, Royal Rose. Sorry, Royal Rose. Simple syrup. I'm really enjoying a lot. S super fun flavors like lavender, cardamom, tamarind. Really unique ways to spice up your cocktails. Rose. Love them. Wow. I know. Hey. And then international flavors in normal products that you can find in any grocery store. So like a trip to Portugal in a jar? <laughs> there, you're so good. <laughs> um, so Moroccan barbecue sauce, um, which is really fun from wild times. We have a company called Chulitas that has brought suf sofrito, which is uh, commonly used in Puerto Rican and South American cooking, okay. in a jar. Sofrito this, con spices. This is your uh, Portuguese uh, sauce, Portuguese trip to Portugal in a bottle, which is really fun. Um, so delicious, very spicy company um, called Terrapin Ridge out of Florida makes some unique flavors, uh, Moroccan date sauce, Mediterranean dip. So it has the sweet, but like the spicy? Sweet and spicy together, That's super cool. delicious. All sorts of just really interesting international flavors becoming mainstream. What I love about these two, I mean, if you, if, as we go through this list even a little bit more, look at the, the packaging and the labels. Oh, they, they have nailed it. Put like, a lot of time and effort, creative names, creative packaging. I mean, that's how they sell it. Yeah. You, you told me that you buy, sometimes if it's a great name or a great label, you're, I do. you are their consumer. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, even better when oh it boy, tastes good I. inside. Um, and then honey, I saw a ton of honey this year, Savannah Bee Company, selling the whole honeycomb. You can use that on a great cheese plate, fruit, cheese, honeycomb, get a fork. You're in. Yeah, you, I, I am like obsessed with this idea. You said you get fruit, all of that stuff, and you look like a rock star. You, like, so you, you would look really chic, I think. I I'm, think I'm so. Sure. Let's try it. <laughs> Bella Cucina, this is lime honey. This is one of my most favorite honey flavors I've ever tasted. Ooh. It is lime blossom honey. Outstanding. You taste that brightness of the you lime? You do. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so amazing. Um, o Olive Oils and Vinegars has this award-winning O Fig, which is a fig balsamic, and mm -hmm. I was telling you I would soak some strawberries in that, add some sugar, a little lemon zest, and put it over vanilla ice cream. Mm. Great topping. Chef Salt makes these wonderful salt blends, so they have barbecue salt, and salt and pepper in the same jar, um, bamboo curry salt, just really interesting ways to flavor meat and other types of food. Love it. A couple other of my favorites, Hancock's Gourmet Lobster Company. These are also award-winning products. Um, lobster risotto on the half shell and lobster mac and cheese that you can make at home. Oh, amazing. I love them. And then in the chocolate world, we have several new products that I really love. We have Stonewall Kitchen's chocolate jam. So mm -hmm. they have banana chocolate jam. Just oh, yeah, no, tons I'm... of childhood memories. Love it. And then Honey again shows up with chocolate, so we have Hammond's Bee Pollen Bar, and then we have Money on Honey, 
caramels from this Droga. This is the one that I loved for gifting. I just thought that the label was just clean and crisp, and I just thought that the presentation was super cute. I want to take a look real quickly at some video that we have because this sh uh, shows basically uh, what it's like out at, at the fancy food sure. show. Sure. It, we, it's, it's packed. It's so fun. Um, and, and you can just go, it's like a smorgasbord of all kinds of delicious things, oh, Republic of Tea, that, you know, I can see where like people start to get like that first little taste, pardon the pun, of a product and then it becomes so mainstream when, when they do, you know, when we do find a winner. It's just stunning. Um, it's such a great experience. I love it. It's my passion. That's so. pretty awesome. And then I think, of, speaking of pretty awesome. And the, the final product, brownie Yummy. brittle, Sheila G's. This is like the end of the, the corner of the brownies in the brownie pan. The whole bag is only 400 calories, so you could, you could eat the whole bag. <laughs> Someone who shall remain nameless, okay, my husband, has done that and has lived and, to tell the tale. And, so. and, and, he's, and he's happier for it. He is much happier. <laughs> All right. oh, good. All right. Well, um, thanks so much for always kind of going to do the work for us and bring back the cool stuff because I love to see when it like kind of just buds. You've seen it here, and then you're like, ah, I saw that a long time ago on Sonoran Living. So um, delicious food, and you can find all of these products and links to them on sonoranliving.com.